So are kayaks really dead? Well, I think they are, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. What is up guys? I'm Joseph Herrick, and this is 5050 Fishing. So are kayaks dead? In my opinion, they are. I don't even have a kayak anymore. Got my John boat, which I basically take anywhere. And then I got a canoe that I use if I'm floating a river that's shallow or something, like too shallow for the John boat. There aren't many rivers that are too shallow for the John boat. It's usually like a small creek or something. I use the canoe. So before I go any further, I want to give credit to another YouTuber. His name is Alex. I don't know exactly how to pronounce his last name. I don't want to butcher it. But he just made a couple videos talking about why he thinks kayaks are dead. So I'm going to go ahead and link his videos in the description. I also made a video similar to this about a little over a year ago about how kayak fishing is dead, which is a little different, but kind of on the same topic. I'm gonna link that video in the description as well. But the main reason why I think kayaks are dead is because they're not kayaks anymore. Nobody's fishing out of a kayak. They're just like plastic boats. Everyone's slapping motors on them, and for me, it doesn't make sense to buy a kayak to put a motor on it when there are better options out there. Better small watercraft suited for motors, like a John boat or a canoe, or even a bigger boat. My John boat can run 22 miles per hour. You're not gonna find a kayak that's safe that can run 22 miles per hour. I don't care. And chances are, this haul is gonna last a lot longer than a kayak. When I was kayak fishing all the time, I'd go through a boat almost every season, just from all the rash it would take, and just, it would eventually get holes in it. This isn't gonna, this isn't gonna happen. This is aluminum. It's not gonna happen. Like I said, I can run 22 miles per hour. I got a 9.9 on it. I got a Motor Guide XI3 with spot lock. I got some sea deck on a trailer, modified jet ski trailer which is what most people are gonna be using for their kayaks now because their kayaks are so freaking heavy. They gotta, they gotta trailer them. Doesn't make any sense to me. And all this, all this right here, costs less than some kayaks out there, which is insane. So yeah, it's just crazy to me. You're gonna buy a kayak and you're gonna put a motor on it and you're gonna treat it like a boat. When you can get a boat for the same price or cheaper, that's better, that's bigger, that's more stable. That can get across big water way faster and give you more room to where you can take, I can take Two people on this if I wanted to. I take one of my buddies, I, I take a buddy all the time. We both stand and fish the entire time. And when I want to go somewhere, I can go 22 miles per hour. I know some of you are gonna be like, oh, but you, 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 can't, you can't take that on small water. I can pretty much launch this thing in eight inches of water and I can easily get this on a pond. Like it's not an issue getting on small water, but I don't need to do that because I have a canoe. I have this canoe over here that I think I got for like 400 and some bucks. And I can take three people on it easily. It has a motor mount in the back can carry a lot more gear than a kayak and it's honestly more stable than any kayak I've ever owned and I've owned some really big kayaks like a Jackson Big Rig, a Jackson Big Tuna, I owned a new canoe Frontier 12. This canoe is seriously more stable than those. It's just a lifetime canoe, like I said 450 bucks. It's called a Wasatch I think is how you pronounce it. I'll, I got a video for it that I can link in the description too. And for what I got in both of these boats you could get a new PA14, which why? And those, those bigger kayaks are just too freaking expensive. And they almost weigh as much as my John boat. It's crazy. Everyone's putting motors on them. And like I said, to me, they're not kayaks anymore. They're just plastic boats that are really insufficient. They've, I guess, over-evolved. I don't know if that's the right word. Because to me, a kayak is a small vessel, a small, like, arrow-shaped vessel that you're paddling. And I probably will get a kayak in the future. If I do, it's just going to be something I paddle. Because there are situations where kayaks outperform these other vessels. It's all mostly just on fast moving water where I can make quick turns with my kayak paddle, which I can actually do that in my canoe. I've done that in my canoe, but it doesn't work as well because of how long it is. Now I know this video is going to ruffle a ton of feathers because for some reason kayak fishermen are so sensitive, but honestly, if you think about it rationally, most of you aren't even in a kayak anymore and most of you aren't paddling. So in my opinion, kayaks are in fact dead. That's the whole point of this video. I wish we could go back this is one of the reasons I kind of got away from kayak fishing because it isn't kayak fishing anymore and it's not the same. And if I'm going to have to spend this amount of money on a boat, I want something that I can get across the water a lot faster and bring a lot more people and a lot more gear with me. Instead of buying a plastic boat that is going to have holes in the hull within a year or two. So, yeah. This is basically just my opinion. There are obviously people who share my opinion. There are obviously a lot of people who are going to disagree with me. But... What can I say? Kayaks are dead.